Hey guys, what's up? It's Shelby and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a, another little Christmas look for you guys. So I'm going to do a um, skull kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to be recreating a look I did last year. Um, this is the picture. Picture this was from December 6th, 2018. Um... So we are going to go ahead and redo that look and see how far I've grown. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's just get right into this video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my Essence Eye Heart Color um, Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. And I'm mostly just focusing it where, cause we're gonna cut our crease, so I'm mostly just focusing it right here. So what we're gonna just start is I'm going to just take like a light brown shade. I'm gonna take my Profusion Mattes palette and I'm gonna run the shade Adventurous. Just kind of creating that cut crease look and winging it out to the side. And I'm just going to add a couple layers of it to build it up. Cause this is the only shade we're going to be using in our crease. My LA Colors Conceal It Correct Correct Cover and Correct Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. So I'm just going to draw a line across my lid, look up, stamp it, and then just take a brush. I'm using the Equal Tool or Real Techniques Detailer Brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and follow that line. And going back in with the Profusion palette and taking the shade Sugar right up at the top to set it. Alrighty, so now that that's done, I'm going to go in with the Weekend Festival and Take Me Back to Brazil palette by um, BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to go in with this orange shade right here and this pink shade and I'm just going to take one at a time and I'm going to just stamp them like this right in the crease wiping my brush off and I'm taking a little pencil brush and I'm just going to pack these on then I'm going to take the yellow shade right here I'm going to go ahead and put that in my crease as well the yellow probably won't show up very well. It's not doing too bad. And then I'm gonna take this green right here. Then I'm gonna take this blue shade over here. And then I'm gonna take the purple right under it. I'm gonna do the same thing on my bottom waterline, taking the pink and putting it right here. I'm just going to um, take my Epic Ink Liner and I'm going to add, I'm gonna outline the crease and I'm also going to do a winged liner. So I'm going to do my wing first. Then I'm going to outline my crease as well. Only advice I have for this is just to take it by slow and take little sections. Don't just do that. Um. Then I'm going to go ahead and outline these. All 
Alrighty, so I went ahead and did this side. I also added some eyeliner mascara. I added my Tarte Tardis um, eyeliner to my top and bottom waterlines and my um, Mega Protein mascara by Wet n Wild to my top and bottom uh, <laughs> lashes. So let's go ahead and get onto the face. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my water activated face paint and I'm gonna take the white on a little sponge. Um, I find if you're like doing a whole bunch of face paint like this like a whole color in one spot to use a sponge better is better than a brush because it goes farther um not exactly sure how that works but it does so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna bring it pretty much right up to my nose Alright, then I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my uh, eyeshadow palettes, and I'm going to pretty much just go... I'll show you. <laughs> I'm pretty much just going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to wipe this one off. And I'm going to take this red shade in here, which is right here, instead of the pink. I feel like the pink looks better on the eyes, but I'm just going to use red. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, and I'm going to kind of go like this in big sections. And taking the orange from the Weekend Festival palette. And then going in with the yellow from this palette. So. But I would definitely use water activated paint. I didn't have water activated paint back then. I just had grease paint and it was a mess. So going back in with this paint, the black shade now, to do the line. I'm going to take this brush right here. I need to wipe it off though. I'm just going to draw a line. Why didn't I start all the way over here? What was I thinking? Anyways, back to what I was doing. I like just to go in with a little line first and then fix it. And it is turning a little gray because of the white face paint under it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use an eyeliner. The rest of it, I think. I'm gonna use my TARDIS eyeliner. Um, and I'm just going to draw the lines for the light bulbs. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw in the bulbs. Get this open.
this is cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my nose. So what I'm gonna do is just take it like that. That one up a little higher. And then like that, and then just fill it in. I'm gonna go in with white face paint and I'm just going to add a little um, highlights to this and just do little dots of white. I'm also just going to add some highlight to the, my nose. I'm going to add some lashes and I will be right back. Alrighty, lashes are on and that is it for this look. I really, really think I like it more than I like the one from last year. I think this one looks a lot more skeleton-like. Um, but yes, um, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see next down below. Don't forget to follow all my social medias. They're also all linked down below as well. I post on Mondays and Thursdays at 1.30 central time and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!